You can ask Netflix for data about your interaction with the service, and you get back a zip file, which when you extract it, looks like this. All these different categories. The most interesting category is probably content interaction. You've got your viewing activity and your search history and ratings and other stuff. This cover sheet explains what they give you, account details and so on. Uh, let's just look at the viewing activity. Viewing activity, profile name, that's who in the house, when you started watching something, how long it was. So I want to, using Python, analyze my viewing activity. We'll start with import, and then we'll immediately call read, comma, separated values file. There's the report, content interaction, viewing activity. So we'll call read CSV, and that will return a data frame, which we will then print. Okay, here's what we've got. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense just yet. Um, something that will help a lot is telling read CSV which column is the index column. And that's title. So if we make this little change, now we see the titles here. We're not seeing the entire width. We're not seeing all the columns. These columns are elided. We're not seeing all the rows. These rows are elided. If we, before we print, if we set an option here, width, and if you set that to none, then pandas will use the full width of your display. So now we're seeing a lot more. This is everything that's available. And we're interested in the title. We don't care about the profile. Actually, you may if you have multiple people in your house. I'm the only one here. The start time, duration. These we're going to skip. I think we'll probably ignore the ones except where it's not a number or missing. Because the, the ones that show here as NAN are the regular shows as opposed to other types of things. And the device type... It's interesting, it started off, this is my um, smart TV. It started off showing it and then toward, oh, I see, we're going, the older records are, are long ago, so maybe they didn't record that at that time. And we're not going to care about the bookmarks or the country. So the next thing to do would probably be to, to say uh, what we're interested in, in uh, having, uh, what columns we want to see. So we'll add a little bit more here. Use calls, and then here we'll have a list of the columns. So we do want title, we do want start time, and we want duration, and we're also going to need supplemental video type so we can filter based on that. Okay, now when we run looks a little bit more like what we want. Okay, very good. And the um, start time is a date, and it's not being treated as a date. If we do uh, D types, print the D types, you can see that um, the three columns other than the title here, which is special because it's an index, are all objects. So this needs to be uh, treated as a uh, date time. So what we will add now is parse dates. We'll say which of these are dates. And start time is one. So we run again, and now you see that it's a date time 64 bits with nanosecond resolution, I think is what that means. Um, okay, duration needs to be turned into a um, 
time delta. So here's how we do that. We use this two time delta function to take the current column and turn it into time deltas. And let's see if this does the job. Good, so duration is now a time delta. And now um, let's see the data again to see how that affects that. Um, it doesn't really appear to, but at least now we've got pandas recognizing the or using the correct types for these things. I'd like to rename this column. So we can do that like this. Right after we um, call read CSV, we can do some additional things here. I think I'll move this up like this, and then continue on the next line. Because we're so here we're done with the read CSV, and now that returns the, a data frame which we're going to modify with some more lines of code here. Um, first thing we want to do is replace all these NANs with empty strings. So we'll say um, fill NAs with empty strings. We'll continue on the next line, and now we want to rename, and we want to rename the supplemental video type to just type. Okay, I made a little mistake with that, and I'm supposed to say rename columns equal, and this is supposed to be a dictionary. So that's the key. And that's the value. There we go. So that's how you do a rename. And now you can see some of these other types, a hook. Okay, now what I want to do is just find all of the uh, times that I watched the Seinfeld show. So we're going we're gonna to say uh, matching data frame. Get the current data frame where the index string manipulator object thing contains Seinfeld. Okay, and then we'll print MDF. Did I get everything uh, balanced? There. Now we're just seeing Seinfeld shows. So we're saying that this new data frame is derived from the old data frame, but only where the index contains Seinfeld. Okay, from here I'm going to switch to a program that I've already done. Kind of like uh, reorganizing and continuing from this one. And here it is. So let me walk through this program. Here's a little comment. We have a constant with the directory where the report is. And um, I showed you one of these set options. There are a bunch of other options that make things look nice. And so I've, I've um, created a function called config display that'll configure the display by adjusting these um, options. And then the code that you saw that gives you Seinfeld, I've put into a function. So you pass it the title part and a data frame, and then it gives you back a new data frame, um, including only rows that, where um, the title contains the title part. And then I've moved the code that creates the data frame into a new function. And I've um, changed the way I did the rename. So here's a tuple of old name and new name. And then we call read CSV to read this CSV, and we say what column is the index column, which columns we want to use, what columns are dates. And as before, we did the uh, fill not a number, 
and then we did the rename. And we turned the duration into a time delta. And then we made a new, a new column here. So we're synthesizing a column from data in another column, the start time. So we're taking, we're taking the start time and turning it into a string and then using a slice to get the first seven characters, which is four, four characters for the year and then a hyphen and then two characters for the month. And then we sort by the start time. So that's create data frame. Uh, in the main body of the program, we call config display so that we can have the wide display uh, with nothing elided. We create the data frame, and then we create another data frame with just the matches. And then we do a bunch of printing various things. So let me run this, and then I'll talk about it more. Okay, so first thing it does is it shows watch time by type. So that is this little heading here. And the, um, the color comes from Colorama. So green, watch time by type. And then we do a group by on the matching data frame. So we want to group by the type and then show the sum of the durations. So there are three groups. There are the regular videos, there are the hooks and the trailers. And this is the sum of the durations for the different types. So this says that I spent one day plus about 14 hours watching Seinfeld videos in the last year or so. And then the next is watch time by month. And uh, so no longer by type, but by month. So these are the months in which I watched Seinfeld episodes. So 2020 in May, 38 minutes, probably two episodes. And then I don't know what this was, six seconds. And uh, 12, <laughs> 12, <laughs> 12 hours of Seinfeld on, uh, in the month of October. That's a lot. And then also similar numbers for November and December. Um, I think I had only watched Seinfeld when it aired and had never watched it again, um, you know, thoroughly in reruns. And now I'm doing that. Uh, and then the number of watches by month. So uh, how did these come out? So one is, a, one is a sum and the other is a count. So the sum is the sum of the durations. The count is the number of sessions, the number of rows, group by month. So the greatest number of watches was in October with 60. And then we have sessions, which is this. Oh, I see we're even, uh, we're showing the types, trailer, 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 hook, and so on. And um, I am me lighting from the middle, just to not show everything. But you can see that there, there are 166 viewing sessions. And then the total watch time for that, which comes by just taking the duration and uh, summing all the durations. Okay, well, that's um, our look at the viewing activity uh, table, the CSV file. And um, I may do more of these. I've been doing these, uh, I've been working with pandas uh, with some of my private students, um, with quite a few of them. And... Um, it's been going well. All right. See you next time.